we get invited next year again. Uh, it's not the first time I've actually attended one of AHNZ's events. Um, I was recently in one of their events in Bangladesh and the turnout was absolutely amazing. I think uh, the events are always professional and they always arranged it and coordinated in a very, very good way. Um, and they do actually attract a good number of students. So uh, I have absolutely no, um, no concerns about the way AHNZ do actually throw these events and today was actually very, very good. Um, I think it's always been a pleasure to work with AHZ Associates. Um, I found always I found their team very professional, very up to the mark. Um, I think they it, it reflects how they are growing. They are you know showing the maturity of organizing these events, and I think that experience reflects in the success of the events they are organizing recently. I've been studying in the UK, I've been studying in London and I did my first degree and my masters as well and I've been living here and working. I think um, London is excellent, there's so many things to do and there's always something new. Yes, if you would like to travel and work in the professional way on the projects, you should come here and do work with more knowledge. Of course, when I'm here and uh, I want to study in UK, UK is specialized for uh, you know, education. So I will recommend that special. We have different cultures, so you get to have um, a mixed um, cultural um, relationship. Obviously, uh, yeah, they have to come to the UK to study if they want to, because you know English is the is the first language in the world. If people want to, if you if you can come in the UK to study, I think it's really it's really good for your career. It's really good for your you know for your for, for your resume for your future as well. I think it's a, it's a it's a good point. I think. It's um, a great opportunity to like live in a very international city uh, and also learn many things and have the opportunity to visit places as well, which is important, like museums and galleries and libraries. It's just been a very enjoyable fair. The flow of students has been very good, the quality of students has been very good, and the lunch was great as well. I had a good biryani at lunchtime, so that was good. <laughs> I would just like to recommend other institutions to attend because I think it's a really, really good event and, and definitely we always get students and I think um, it's, it's in a good area and we're very well looked after so I would recommend other institutions to come. Um, yeah, I would say keep up the good work, uh, you know, just keep, keep doing what you're doing and promoting um, the different UK universities that are, are available to students who are already in the UK. But I would suggest and promote students, especially from South Asia, to come live in UK, experience life here, um, because, it's, it's, because it's so different. You, get, you, you develop yourself. Um, you get very independent because unlike growing up in Asian families where you get everything done by your parents or your family members, you're left on your own, which is a good thing. I think you're doing great, uh, well done for this event and keep carrying on doing always um, good events as this one. Um, maybe like uh, to have a variety of students next time, uh, kind of uh, aim for different levels, not just masters and PhD, like look for foundation and undergraduate as well, so make, mix it up is better than just main. Masters and PhD. It's been a fantastic day, lots of fantastic, fantastic students, students and really, really great, great support from AHZ. Uh, one, of one of the best agents I've worked with, so it's very great. Definitely, there is a lot more uh, PhD and postgraduate master students. Uh, the interest is definitely more focused on the postgrad side rather than undergrad, which is great because um, we're definitely looking to expand those courses, so I'm happy to join. Uh, I think it's, it was a very successful event and I think uh, I would recommend the other colleagues who haven't attended or couldn't attend this event to, to participate in the future events because I think it's, it's better for the institutions to participate, to engage with good quality students and likewise it's good for the students to meet a number of uh, institutions and education providers to see which university's program meets their requirements and uh, whatever they are seeking for. Yeah, I think the team is very friendly. Uh, hello, uh, good morning and uh, from the UK, those are in the UK and good afternoon in Bangladesh, those are in Bangladesh and uh, my name is Golam Murtuza, I'm one of the director of AHZ Associates. AHZ Associates uh, established 
launched back 2012 and currently representing over 130 UK universities. And today we are going with the live session uh, with Cardiff Metropolitan University is one of the oldest university. Um, Israel is, uh, has a huge appeal to all over the world, to the international students, uh, including uh, lots of Bangladeshis. The reason why I say is uh, for the Bangladeshis because uh, uh, Cardiff Metropolitan University had a number of applications with the many colleges, even the external program in Bangladesh as well. So. Uh, lots of graduates completed their degree uh, from the Cardiff Met as well. And it is a great opportunity for the student, those who want to look for the, the master's or undergrad or foundation program, and they can join this uh, virtual counseling session and they can put their comments and we'll have the university printed. In. And uh, uh, also at the beginning, we have our one of the guests, uh, who is, uh, who is uh, her name is Miss Tania and uh, she's uh, currently studying at the University of uh, Cardiff Med. And uh, I would like to go with uh, Tanya first to know a bit more details about her experience with the university. And uh, good afternoon and good morning from the UK. Yeah, good morning. And thank you so much for inviting me to join here. Um, the thing, I'm, I'm really delighted to be a student in Cardiff Medical University. I'm studying at the moment, second year BBA accounting. Yeah, it's a really good opportunity for me as well. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, actually, I'll not take too long from you. Uh, you have been studying in Cardiff Med. Which subject you are studying at the moment? I'm studying accounting. Uh, be accounting second year straight away because uh, I have completed my graduation in Bangladesh and okay. Cardiff Major University gave me the chance to get admission straight away in second year. So I have not done my first year straight away in second year. So you basically carry transfer to UK University? Exactly, exactly. Okay, thank you very much for uh, sharing the experience. How do you feel as a university and um, what is the learning environment? What is the uh, what the Bangladeshi student or a student from India or from other country can expect as a university? You think? Yeah, definitely is the very good opportunity in here in especially Cardiff Metro University if you come here you can see lots of international students is studying here at the moment and if you want to know about learning opportunity, learning style and learning options is a really, really good opportunity in here because the teachers, the library staff, and especially the helping style for international and home students is really good. For beginner, definitely inter as an international student, is everything new for them. So as a beginner, they nursing the students from beginning so it's it's a very good opportunity to get involved all learning options for students and library staff is really good if you want to get information get help for study and for exam style they are really good for uh, with the resources and as well as I would like to say, you know, a sports facility in Cardiff Med is really good and very friendly. All staff, all lecturers, all of them is really enjoyable. And I'm really happy to be a part and be a student in Cardiff Metro University. So definitely it's really good chance if any anyone, any students, choice to come here to get admission in Cardiff Metro University, this is the good, good option and good choice, definitely. Uh, thank you, uh, Tanya. Just uh, one more uh, question. What do you feel, uh, what is your appeal to the international student if they want to consider Cardiff Metro University for their destination to study at the UK universities? Uh, if if you compare with an, any one university in UK, I would like to say Cardiff Metropolitan University the best because 
Cardiff Metropolitan University is situated in Cardiff. This city is really good for students who would like to f find the options like as a living cost, as a Bengali staff. So if, if you would like to save your money, if you like to think, let's see, where's that cheap cost in, to, live in here, to live in UK, then Cardiff is the best because this is really good cheap cost city How much as well as to pay in terms of the accommodations exactly like accommodation the good stuff which one you need to buy every day to like every, everyday living stuff is really accessible as well as bengali stuff the halal food you know the halal food definitely muslim students halal food is very important so it's really accessible it's everywhere so you don't need to go far away to find your halal shop bengali stuff so it's the city you can get all stuff in together and as well as cardiff city is most of famous for community bengali community lots of people in living here bengalis so if you find bengali people's bengali friends you can find very easily so this is good for Bengali bangladeshi students definitely okay so uh, definitely uh, so i believe there are lots of clubs and societies yes. at the university to access to the multiple societies uh, yes sorry Student is coming from Bangladesh, they might have Bangladeshi society. Student coming from India, they can have also society from India as well. I would say. Lots of students from India, already Indian, lots of students. If you come here, you can see lots of Indian students. And then that's why I'm thinking, why is the Bangladeshi students? They, they lots of opportunities here. Bangladeshi students have to find out and come in here and they can see there's a good opportunity, definitely. Okay, uh, dear viewer, just if you can put your comment, we're gonna take all of your comment at the end of, of our session because you cannot take at the middle of the uh, session. Uh, please put your comments and stay with us to learn all about Cardiff Metropolitan University that will uh, surely give a, a lot of experience uh, from our um, university representative as well and he'll be joining very soon with us. And um, very last question to you and um, what do you feel in terms of the uh, library facilities or like internet system uh, to get a learning environment to uh, access to their uh, st uh, teachers and in terms of the getting the real education what do you feel uh, what is the uh, what is the experience please yes my experience is really good because at first when i came here when i i, I was a bit worried what's going to happen as a a newcomer and i don't know exactly how's the system how's the learning style how's the exam style and how can i get involved the total uh, education style and then finally when i started gradually is going to be very easy especially in library i told you before library stuff is really 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 good because they start from beginning how you uh how you get all informations for you preparing for your exam and how you get involved in, in your classes and uh, an overall education system is really helpful for especially for international students because cardiff metropolitan university is really based on for international students so they know how exactly needy they are international students so they their systems much more easy and friendly for international students definitely and uh, thank you very much tanya to share you all the experience to the our viewers and um, i hope you are having very great time and wish you good luck and thank, thank you, you very much day. thank you and thanks well, dear viewers welcome to our session and i would like to uh, take one of our uh, university printed from uh, Cardiff Metropolitan University, uh, Mr. S. K. Azad Rahman, who is a university representative, who will share all of his experience and appeal to the international students, those who wanted to study at the UK University. 
and want to think that Cardiff could be your destination, it is an, this is an opportunity for you to ask as many as questions you like in terms of the fees, in terms of the application process, in terms of the scholarship as well. And uh, you can, I can share with you, with you AHZ Associates is a long-term partner of Cardiff Metropolitan University and recruit a large number of applications, uh, students from around the world. And uh, today I would like to welcome uh, Mr. Azad Choudhury. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Azad Choudhury and uh, Ramadan Mubarak. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Ramadan Mubarak. Uh, thank you, Mr. Glamortoja. Uh, my name is SK Azad Rahman and I am the Bangladesh Regional Advisor at Cardiff Metropolitan University. It's a really great, great to participate live session with our partner agency and our potential students in Bangladesh. I want to give big thanks to uh, AHZSC for inviting me here as a guest. So, so please watch, uh, stay with us and watch uh, until the end of the session. Uh, I, I've been uh, having lots of questions and thank you viewers. You can raise your question and we'll go end of our session and we'll try to answer as many as questions we can. And uh, dear viewers, uh, we brought all the way uh, uh, to university towards your door. The reason why, because we all locked down, we cannot give you the physical service at the moment. And I believe you are quite easy, to, uh, you have quite easy access to um, come towards uh, to the live session and share your experience with us and ask your question. We are lots of things around the world about the COVID-19 and the, how the UK University will be running and we'll be very happy to uh, answer your questions. And if you can go ahead with the question uh, to Mr. Azad Choudhury. And uh, uh, Mr. Azad, uh, what is Azad Rahman, yeah. Sorry, Azad Rahman. Uh, yeah. Mr. Azad Rahman, what do you feel in terms of choosing the University of the Cardiff as a part of the students' destination for foundation program, for bachelor degree, or for the master's uh, degree as well? So, uh, so uh, first, uh, I will uh, tell a little bit uh, about uh, university, then I'll go to uh, your question and answer. So, uh, Cardiff Metropolitan University is a public university uh, situated in the heart of Cardiff, the capital city of Wales, a country with long tradition of welcoming students from all over the world. In 1865, the university was established as Cardiff School of Art, and in 1996, it gained university status as the University of Wales Institute, Cardiff. Becoming Cardiff Metropolitan University in 2011, so Cardiff Met has more than 155 years road back history. Okay, so currently Cardiff Met has three campuses uh, within a three kilometer radius of central Cardiff and faculties include the famous National Indoor Athletic Center, the National Long Tennis Association Center, Swimming Complex, the Student Union, bar and cafes for students, staff and visitor as well. So now I'm going to your question. Uh, Cardiff Met is one of the top ranked modern university in the UK by all the major table leagues. And it has a silver teaching excellence framework rating and QAA rating as well. So ranked the top university in the UK for international student support for a sixth time in a row that uh, our student previously mentioned with you. And our uh, more than 95% of our graduate enter employment or uh, further study within six months of graduation. And this is the highest figure of any university in Wales by DLH. Okay. And a leading modern university for sports studies as well uh, within a top three uh, in UK by ranking and excellent link with more than 5,000 industry and great options for internship for our e students and excellent scholarship facilities as well uh, with a uh, low tuition fees so we are uh, offering and uh, we are in top 10 for uh, food science and robotics engineering research and we have a very good lab and our lab is jointly working with uh, UK's national research lab as well and as a capital city Cardiff is one of the best places to live in UK with 
cosmopolitan and multicultural environment with the students from over 140 countries. So low cost of living as Cardiff is the most cost effective student city, as you know. And in the UK, according to NatWest Student Living 2019 and World Plus Facility as well, we are providing with modern campuses. And uh, another thing is uh, it takes only two hour journey uh, from London and uh, Birmingham by uh, train only. So distance is not a matter from uh, uh, traveling to the main city, London. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Azad Rahman. And uh, dear viewers, the placement is an opportunity for international students to gain uh, their learning experience to the professional standard and become professionally experienced. Once uh, during the study, when you have a course with the placements, that will give you the opportunity to implement what you have learned to the professional industry, which really add extra value in your career in your cv as well and if i can ask uh, mr azad rahman and uh, do you have any placement opportunities in your undergrade course and master's course because it is quite uh, lucrative to the international students you know ah uh, yes yes we have uh, we have a placement options with undergraduate uh, courses and uh, uh, hopefully most of the courses we have sandwich program you know the sandwich year uh, that is student can gain extra experience that time and as well some payment as well from the company so and uh, some of our master's courses we are offering a uh, placement options as well almost we have uh, eight master's courses with the placement options and two master's courses with uh, further research opportunities okay so uh, we have we have MBA courses, uh, we have uh, MSc Advanced Computer Science, MSc Data Science, MSc Information Technology Management, MSc Technology Project Management, MSc Food Science and Technology, MSc International Hospitality and Tourism Management, and Events Project Management with internship facilities. And uh, we have another two courses that is very, very popular in Bangladesh, uh, I guess, and that is MSc Public Health. Applied Public Health and MSc Occupational Health, Safety and Wellbeing. This two course is two years duration, but not with the placement year. First year, a student will study the core modules and the optional modules. And second year, uh, they will do fully research with the research team, except the dissertation. They do not need to do dissertation, but they will have the opportunity to research with our research team full one year. So this will be the amazing facility for our university and the MSc Public Health. We are the only university we are providing two years courses with research facilities. And another great feature for these two courses. I think this is quite uh, demanding for the yes, doctors yes. around the world. You know, uh, they can come <laughs> and get a taught course and then go for the research. Uh, that can really yes. give them the real experience that can implement in their sector i would say that's a, that's how like a doctor or health professional they are looking for mainly for uh, like a involvement with the work directly with the research team you know or uh, physical they want to see the research you know how is going on or what's the thing is going on or uh, how it's uh, like uh, do so the another great feature for these two courses is uh, this is two years course, but a student have to pay only one year fee. Wow, that's a quite great opportunity. I think uh, we're gonna come with the scholarship uh, yeah. in a bit, but yeah. it's, yes. it's very and, uh, like the opportunities. And the tuition yeah. fee is coming around five to six thousand pounds per year, I would say. Per year, right? Well, and thank you very much. It's quite details explaining, mm -hmm. uh, dear viewers. It is your opportunity to put a question to come and gain your experience about the university, what Cardiff might want to uh, explore and wanted to give to the international students. I believe that will be a fantastic opportunity for you to raise your question and you can also choose your destination for the Cardiff Metropolitan University. If I can uh, tell you the, in terms of the entry requirement, there are two steps. One is academic entry requirements, and the one English entry requirements. requirements. In terms of the academic entry requirements, what are the entry requirements uh, you think the Bangladesh student need for foundation year, for bachelor degree, sorry, not Bangladesh, international student needs for foundation year, bachelor degree, and master degree, please? 
so thank you <clears throat> so uh, we have a uh, we have a uh, foundation international foundation courses for one year we have undergraduate courses we have postgraduate courses as well we have some research courses so for under uh, international foundation courses the requirement is like uh, for bangladeshi students it will be a higher secondary certificate uh, completed um, it will be must and the gpa it's required only three so if a student have a gpa three then they can uh, apply for our uh, international foundation courses and uh, and the ielts requirement will be uh, ukvi overall 4.5 and each module uh, we needed a four so it's quite flexible uh, requirement uh, i can say for foundation and uh, we have undergraduate courses uh, undergraduate requirement is uh, we need a gpa 4 in uh, hsc like higher secondary certificate and we need ielts overall uh, 6 not below 5.5 in each band and for masters we need four years bachelor degree with cgpa 2.5 out of 4 uh, from a recognized institute in bangladesh and uh, the IELTS requirement again a uh, very minimum overall six not below 5.5 in each band okay so it is it is quite flexible at the moment and the uh, question is coming um, about the current situation the student cannot join to the um, uh, to sit for the IELTS obviously as you know and uh, yeah. I already got lots of questions from the viewers as well and if you can kindly explain to the viewers like what would be the in your mind in terms of the uh ielts exemptions or what uh, can uh, the university is planning to do for the student who cannot sit for the ielts so uh from our university we do we do ielts over uh, for lots of countries but unfortunately we're not doing for bangladeshi students but in the current situation, students are not able to uh, sit for IELTS exam or they cannot prepare well uh, for IELTS uh, or TOEFL exam uh, for PT exam. Uh, but, but in this situation, we are thinking for alternative, but it's still not decided. Hopefully within one week, university will decide finally what sort of uh, opportunities or options we can offer to each students. <clears throat> Okay, uh, that means uh, the university is deciding any time to find the alternative options uh, in terms of the IELTS and so that the student can get the exemption for the IELTS because of the current COVID-19 situation. Uh, um, lots of uh, South Asian students are quite worried in terms of COVID-19 attacks. And what is your uh, view about the coming September intake and uh, what is the university thinking? <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, currently, we are going through a pandemic situation by COVID-19, and uh, not only in India or Bangladesh, the whole world is suffering with COVID-19, this situation. So we are hoping uh, this pandemic situation will be normal before August. Uh, I'm not sure, but we, we can hope. At the moment, uh, we don't have a plan to cancel our September 2020 intake. So still, we're in decision with September 2020 intake start from end of September or middle of October. Okay. So if there is situation with travel to UK, then a student could join our one campus uh, classes directly. Otherwise, there will be alternative options uh, for our uh, students so with uh, online classes, virtual classes. And until uh, that travel situation coming normal, students could continue online classes and later they can get their visa and join university accordingly uh, currently we have this plan uh, in, in, uh, in our university and maybe uh, the plan will be changed later but uh, we'll publish or we'll uh, let you know later if anything changes okay uh, uh, thank you very much uh, i believe i have spoken to pu university and uh, most of the university is very optimistic for september intake and they really will go for the september intake uh, if the situation getting worse and then they might start September intake by October. And um, at the end of the day, if you, even the student cannot apply by the October, the intake will run for a few months through online and the student can join soon the situation back to normal. And I have also spoke to the university, uh, some of them definitely 
uh, cardiac med could be uh, also uh, follow the similar uh, policies in, in case very unlikely if your bees are getting refused if you start your course in september october uh, in two online and you cannot join to the uh, course because you got the visa refusal afterwards uh, the university will be very happy to fully refund your fees so right. you do not need to order for anything at all if very worst case scenario i'm saying but uh, the university is quite optimistic about uh, coming september intake the most burning question um, to mr azad rahman uh, about the scholarships to the international students what are the scholarships facilities you will provide to international students from all over the world thank you so uh, first of all uh, before telling about the scholarship i'm a little bit i'm telling uh, i will tell about the tuition fees as well uh, our undergraduate uh, tuition fees is currently 9250 pound for the undergraduate uh, foundation year and for our all undergraduate courses our fees is 12500 british pound per year okay. and uh, our masters fees is uh, 13500 and our mba fees is 14000 so uh, we are we are uh, providing some scholarship or attractive in scholarship for our south asian student mainly uh, <clears throat> so our uh, foundation students uh, getting a scholarship uh, around 1200 and it is fixed okay. if they get offered they will get 1200 scholarship is straight away so they are so they, uh, then they, they can get the foundation by 8000 pounds around right 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 then 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 their, their tuition fees will be 8050 pound only it okay. is i would so, say from my understanding uh, cheapest than any other university i would say not only university any other private providers i can say 50% of them you know Okay, and uh, you should also getting the university cash data, the most important thing, right? Right, and we can have also work right for the foundation as well. Yes, I, yes. I think hours, yeah, yeah, right. So, so, so we have we have another option with foundation that is foundation plus bachelor joint program combined. Okay, okay. combined. Okay. Those students have less GPA, but they have good IELTS, like a uh, bachelor level IELTS requirement. Uh, they fulfill. They will go for joint cash. then they will get four years visa straight away okay so they they do not need to come back again after foundation uh, for a visa application bangladesh they can stay a whole four years and they can study four years all together they, year. they don't need to go basically then he has to look for the after one year right extension and they all will also get it 20 hours of rights on their yes. uh, really the combined for four years but yeah. uh, once you go for the only similar one year foundation you will have a 10 hours or 10 hours option right because it's a level 3 qualification yes. and what about the uh, bachelor degree scholarship please okay our bachelor degree scholarship is same similar i say each year we are providing uh, not only first time we are providing whole three years is every wow. year is student will get a uh, 1200 pound scholarship from our uh, bachelor and the tuition fee is 12500 and uh, if they uh, they got less like uh, 1200 then it will be 11300 pound uh, per year their tuition fee right and uh, what about the masters please uh masters uh, we have two types of scholarship policy and uh, one is vice chancellor scholarship which is 1500 pound so the student uh, get offer or uh, will get offer 100% they will get this scholarship with the offer and we have uh, another scholarship policy that is international merit scholarship okay so those student have merit or uh, their gpa is good like uh, those student have gpa uh, three or more in uh, like i'm saying for bangladeshi students those is student it, have GPA, is it like a 60% or 70% uh, it's not like a percentage marking uh, it's like gpa we are counting gpa we don't consider okay. the uh, pass mark or something like that we consider only gpa and that, that if their gpa is free or more then they will get 3000 pound scholarship okay okay so i can say it's quite lucrative offer uh, from our university as well as the tuition fees is very cheap if i ask you about the placement here uh, does this student require to you said there are lots of courses especially for the doctors the course uh, some of the course is 2 years 
by mm-hmm. student paying roughly around uh, for the one year tuition fees. Even uh, if they got the GP around three above, they can get the three thousand pounds. Well. Right. Yeah, so the right. you should be rounding around uh, ten thousand pounds for two five hundred. Yes, ten thousand five hundred. And yeah. what is the minimum fees a uh, student need to pay at the beginning to get a cash so, letter? We are we are we are considering fifty percent at least fifty percent okay. of our remaining tuition fees after a scholarship. Okay, and the uh, is there any installment process or is student just uh, when they come to the UK university are they required to pay straight away the remaining fees or they have some sort of uh, installment process as you know international student always having some problem and they come in they need to be settled and then they can bring the money or they can arrange the money uh no we have two types of policy first of all uh, if a student wants to pay full tuition fees on enrollment time then they can pay otherwise they have two options for choosing installment plan so we okay. have uh, we have six installment plan and uh, how many Six, six installment six. plan. Wow. Six. So if say uh, like a EP student joining in September, then their first installment have to pay beginning of October, and uh, from next installment they have to pay uh, end of November, and consecutively each month they have to pay like twenty five or uh, that date each month. I, I believe like it's around eight hundred pounds you need to pay in installment to complete your degree, and it is yes. quite reasonable, and it is. I don't think it's uh, quite difficult for the student as well. And um, and uh, if you if you want to talk a bit about uh, Cardiff Met uh, in terms of the uh, sports clubs and societies and uh, all other facilities like uh, library facilities uh, to the interested student. Yes, uh, we have uh, we have a great uh, and a very big uh, library. One. One campus library as well the virtual library as well. So uh, our student Tanya uh, previously told you uh, about the library or their staff facilities or cooperation. You already uh, know about that, and um, we have a great uh, sports facility in our university as well. You know, I mentioned already we are in top three for sports studies, and we have indoor stadium and uh, that is uh, Wales National Indoor Stadium as well, and. Uh, national athletic center uh, within our university as well and we have a total of seven stadiums in our university okay excluding the swimming complex or archery complex or basketball volleyball that is excluded within this seven we have a uh, two football stadium we have two rugby stadium we have hockey stadium we have an uh, indoor stadium as well and uh, cardiff metropolitan university has a uh, uh, different type of uh, a sports club as well and uh, we have cardiff met football club we have cardiff met rugby club as well our these two team is playing national level like premier division and our home ground is within our university so when the uh, like the premier division game is going on in our university and and students have the opportunity like uh, watch the game as well and that is also the live telecasting you know always yeah it is it is uh, it is quite amazing i would say it is is quite amazing and um, as you know like the students can do not have the IELTS at the moment and maybe they are waiting for the reference letter or something what would you advise at the moment uh, for the student to apply because if they don't have IELTS so what would you recommend to the student so <clears throat> first of all if a student don't have IELTS or any like uh, supporting documents i can say um, reference letter so without that a student uh, can apply to our university and we we'll look at that but uh, must be he or she have to uh, provide their transcript if, if official not possible then like unofficial transcript uh, then we'll we'll take it because we have to see uh, his or her result to produce yeah, the offer progressing. i mean the uh, progressing result or in yes, the course yes, or... Yes. So uh, to have sprint can apply. Sprint can apply, and uh, we'll look at. Uh, we'll offer the conditional offer first, and uh, exactly. whenever the sprint will uh, get the uh, IELTS result or uh, the required documents, then they can provide us. Then we'll remove the conditions. Yes. Thank you, uh, dear viewers. 
as uh, Mr. Azad Raman said, uh, it is an opportunity for you to make the application. I'm making the application like other country, you are not paying any fees. And Edge Associates provide uh, just a um, free service, would not charge to our students. Most of our counselors studied at the UK University. They can provide you detailed information in terms of the uh, admission procedure, but it is very vital for you to make an application. The reason why the uh, having the uh, a master degree, even the some of the course with a placement for two years by rounding about around ten thousand pounds, which is a very limited opportunities currently at the UK universities, and uh, I'm very happy to Cardiff Metropolitan University that. They are providing such opportunities to the international students to make the application and secure the scholarships. <laughs> One of the important thing about the, in terms of the scholarship, I can share my experience. That every university has certain amount of scholarship they can provide. They have a limits. And if you are making the early application and you are the person will be eligible first because the scholarship always first come first services and if you to make an application for this scholarship you need to have an upper letter which is very important for you and if it is even conditional upper letter that's not a problem we can raise our voice to the university to secure your place to secure your scholarship so do join to make your application and if you have any question i can see lots of questions already came in and we're gonna go one by one question before last uh, Question to Azad Rahman. Um, we'll go all the question uh, which is relevant to the university, and I'll be um, uh, hoping that we'll be able to answer your question. The last question about uh, to the viewers about Edge Red Associates. What do you feel um, in terms of your recommendation to Edge Red Associates to make the application for the Cardiff Med, and um, what is your experience? We have visited our lots of branches. And you have visited our education fairs as well. So, what do you feel? I would say thank you. So, uh, thank you. Uh, first of all, AHZ Associate is our official partner to recruit students from all over the world, not only in Bangladesh. They are our global partner. And secondly, AHZ Associate has very experienced, dedicated counseling team, application team, and compliance team as well. That they could guide and process through your application to final enrollment. AHZ Associate has three offices in uh, Bangladesh, that is in Dhaka, in Silet, and Chittagong, and many offices worldwide to support e students as well. And uh, I will suggest our e student, please contact with AHZ uh, counselors or with your uh, documents and submit your applications for your desired courses. Again, don't delay. Just submit your application with AHZ Associate and secure your scholarship soon. I'm here to support AHZ asset and uh, our e students accordingly. If needed, then you can send your file for free assessment through AHZ. I will assess and I will tell you uh, he or she will uh, get offer and uh, or not and how much they will get the scholarship as well. So that will be a great opportunity for our Bangladeshi students for free assessment. Not only Bangladeshi students, we are the global partners. So yes. Of course, uh, Mr. Azad will help for Bangladeshi students. Other reputed mm -hmm. from other countries, they will support yes, all our uh, international students. We have recruited last year from 35 different countries. So um, I believe the university is there and we have a global mm -hmm. contract to recruit students from all over the world. So it is your opportunities to contact to our local uh, counselors who will be able to help you out. I'm going one by one question as many as I can take. And the question one is, are you accepting Duolingo at the moment in terms of IELTS, obviously? Mr. Azad Rahman, can you hear me? OK, thank you. I got your question. Uh, I Sorry, I think that we are having some technical difficulties from Mr. Azad Raman to connect. And can you hear me, please?
Mr. Jasim Nambapi, I am uh, answering your question. I am answering your question. The university currently assessing alternative of IELTS and the university will be very happy to answer this question within a week time. Obviously, university is considering alternative of the uh, current IELTS um, test, so you will not have any problem. The advice is you can just contact to our team. You can just contact to our team and we will be able to help you out uh, with your answer. You can just drop an email uh, at the um, at first once you got the email uh, with your documentation or you can talk to our team uh, through the Facebook live session you have the contact number there you can contact to, to one of our managers and the manager will be able to help you out with the uh, all the options you have and they can make your application on behalf of you as well and we hope you will be able to get the um, uh, acceptance from the card equipment university and if I uh, uh, can take another question from Manjul Hawk Nijar. Uh, can I do on material science, which is scholarship on that university uh, for the PhD program? Mr. Manjur, uh, the uh, PhD program works completely different way. Uh, first of all, you have to have a proposal. Once you got a proposal and you submit to the uh, supervisor, if supervisor accepts your applications, in that case, uh, uh, so you can make a formal application. You can come to our team and our team will be able to help you out as well. I'm just trying to see if I can reconnect uh, Mr. Azad Rahman um, from Bangladesh. If uh, he can join again. Is uh, most likely uh, there's a network issue from Bangladesh. Okay, so in terms of the PhD, once you get the approval from the university admission team, and then the uh, you can access to the all the uh, financial options uh, with the university. I mean, the supervisor can assist you on this case. And uh, about the study gaps, obviously, if you have a long gaps, the university may not consider you as a genuine student. Uh, in terms of the visa, it will also affect the student as well. So, if you have a gaps and you have a proper justification. The university will not make any problem to offer you a place. And uh, if I can go one more question. Uh, what will be the cost for masters in social work? What does the two, two and two on CGPA mean in Bangladeshi CGPA system? If you got a yes, uh, GPA three over, which is uh, equivalent to two one, I would say. And uh, so you will not have any problem. If you get a below 2-1, that means uh, you have a 2-2, uh, below 60% marks. So I mean the below uh, GPA, CGPA 3. And so I would say if you can, if you are happy to come to the Cardiff Metropolitan University, please do join and we'll be able to help you out all the way. Thank you. And uh, I think I'm, uh, Mr. Azad Rahman, uh, sorry, uh, are you there? Uh, yes, uh, there was an internet uh, trouble, so I saw okay. it and finally I came okay. back. Thank you. I was actually answering the question. I have answered a few questions on behalf of you because... Okay, thank you. Away. Thank you very much. So, one of the questions I was answering for the Shoe Salwar course, what does 2-2 and 2-1 CGPA mean in Bangladesh CGPA system? Uh, like UK, UK grading system versus Bangladesh grading system. The two different question, right? So a uh, 2.2 means a uh, lower second class uh, in UK and uh, in terms of Bangladesh, somehow it's um, <clears throat> like 50 plus marks or equivalent to uh, 3 2.8 GPA out of 4 in Bangladesh. 
and uh, 2.1 uh, it's a uh, higher second class in uk that is uh, higher second class uh, that is normally called in bangladesh like first class or a gpa 3 or out of four okay i think quite similar answer i was not too much aware of it and uh, cost for masters of tourism and hospitality management this is i think this course have a placement opportunity isn't it yes uh, we have yes. a placement opportunities for this course and uh, for this course the tuition fees is 13500 and uh, not only this course uh, all of our masters courses is same fees except mba mba course fees is 14000 is higher so, every university anyway yeah it is only 500 higher but compared to other university i can say our fees is quite low yes so uh, the cost is 13500 if you have a good cgpa and uh, you will be able to gain maybe uh, 3000 pound scholarships and then can it will come down around 10500 and um, for two years program also it is quite a fantastic opportunity for you to make the application do join our contact to our team and um, i hope that you'll be able to get the offer letter very soon thank you and if i can take uh the question what about without ielts for bachelor uh because at the moment you know the student cannot sit for the ielts this is the question is coming from that point of view so what so, will be the alternative i think you already answered the question already uh, answered the question. Another thing, uh, currently uh, if a student are coming from english medium then if they have uh, o levels and a levels and in all levels they have english c at least then we'll wave the ielts okay so that is good option another good opportunity from uh, for o levels and a levels students like english medium students uh, to uh, get offer without ielts okay thank you uh, we're not gonna ask any more questions about ielts please put ielts question aside the every university for the uh, at the uk universe every uk university is planning to give up uh, alternative opportunities to the student because we are quite aware of the situation the university is quite aware of the situation like you cannot sit for ielts you cannot go to physically to the center book you test and get you the uh, certificate as well so there is no opportunities all the university uh, is uh, taking alternative measurements so uh, it could be an internal English test it could be an um, by any third party uh, internal test or english test which could be an online system so you do not need to ask any question about ielts uh, put ielts aside uh, if you are planning to come to the uh, sector intake do make your application get your upper letter and security scholarship uh, thank you and i'm gonna go one of the questions because you have asked uh, you told about so many things about the sports exercise mm -hmm. medicine <coughs> <coughs> yeah. What is the maximum amount of a scholarship you can give to this doctor who is maybe fighting with COVID-19 in the hospital currently right. as well? Uh, at the moment, the world's uh, hero, world's national hero, I can say. World heroes, All yeah. world's national hero, I can say. So uh, thank you for that question. And uh, for MBBS doctor, yes, the tuition fees is uh, 13,500 for MSc in sports exercise and medicine and uh, the maximum uh, scholarship you will get uh, if you have like grading system as far i know in bangladesh there is no grading system for mbbs course or dental courses they are like pass mark only and 60 percent is the pass mark placement so we are offering uh, at the moment 1500 for uh, mbbs and uh, dental students because they don't have a gps system okay so we, we don't have any alternative measurement to provide uh, scholarship. We're only considering GPA. And uh, as normal, uh, who is getting offer? They're getting 1500, obviously, with the offer. So if he's the if he student got like 70 percent marks, I said most of the doctors getting around 70 percent marks over. Uh, so it, it doesn't make any uh, like a uh, difference uh, they will get 1500 only and uh, obviously you know the some other private university in bangladesh like uh, it, also, it, they have different marking policy as well they are getting 85 percent mark but they are getting below free cgpa so they also we are providing also 1500 to them as well okay okay understand understand 
and uh, I think it's a two-year program, right? Yes. Sir. No, no, no. This one is one-year program. It's sports okay. and exercise medicine. Okay. The question came from Mr. Mahabub Alam Tarek. Is this university have biomedical program? I'm sure you have. If you can talk a bit. More. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. So we have a biomedical science uh, with uh, five specialization. And uh, we have a very enriched uh, like a research facility with the biomedical science and health science courses. And our uh, research uh, team or lab, they are working uh, jointly with the uh, Wales National Research Team and National Research Lab as well as, as well the UK's National Research Lab as well. So there will be good facility for uh, biomedical or health science courses students to get uh, practical experience through research. You have a very good student, uh, Mr. Gulam Rahman Naim, and uh, complete honor degree and master degree with getting 3.91 and 3.88. I would like to take part uh, in Richard's master's. Is it possible? Uh, yes, uh, uh, we have a uh, research master's courses as well, but uh, uh, Mr. Gulam Rahman Naim, you didn't mention which course uh, you are mainly looking for, which discipline mainly is business discipline or health sector discipline or in different discipline. So yes, yeah, so we have a, we have a, a master's courses with research, like M research courses we have. So you can apply. And the tuition fee is quite similar to master's, am I right? Uh, yes, quite similar to master's. And uh, the thing is that uh, you do not need to submit your research proposal at the uh, point of application. So please contact with a HSD associate and submit your documents. Okay, to, this is quite, uh, apply and uh, I, most of the uh, university asking for the research proposal on you wanted to do MREACH. So yes. I believe it's like a, uh, if, uh, if you are meeting the academic requirements and you right. can easily get the offer letter, I would say. It's, it's a yeah. very fantastic, I would say, right? Yes. Yes. The, again, actually, I have to take because the number of students maybe in the past attempt they got ILTS 5.5. May or six, but one band is 4.5. But uh, they couldn't take retake the uh, test because there's no opportunities. What uh, would you say to them, please? So uh, I will say, uh, don't uh, delay. Uh, please apply with uh, that, and uh, you can retake your IELTS if the situation is normal very soon. And uh, we'll issue the uh, conditional offer. Uh, we'll issue the conditional offer and. Um, for business courses, for master's level business courses, if you have 0.5 ledge overall or each, any band, then you will have opportunity to get a six week pre sessional course. Okay. So uh, if situation going well, then we'll run that course. Uh, otherwise, I don't know the actual situation, what will be uh, in a few months uh, after. So uh, hopefully within a short period or within a seven or eight days, university will decide further. And currently, the situation getting better last few days. This yes, is yes, yes. in the UK, and even we can see in, not only UK in whole Europe, the situation is going down right now. It's yes, and I think it's going down slowly. Yes. The one more question, uh, student from Pakistan. Uh, does a student who want to apply in masters? He has done LB from Pakistan. Doesn't have IELTS. Again, just uh, contact to our team and you can uh, do send an email to our um, uh, uh, I mean the UK office info at ahzassociate.co.uk with all of the documents and we'll be in touch with you. And uh, thank you. I'm going to take uh, one question. Uh, last one. Our master's got cgpa 2.78 and ielts got five what uh, can be done in this case so uh, based on your uh, bachelor uh, you got you got bachelor as well and master three years bachelor mm -hmm. uh, second class and master cgpa 2.78 uh, yes uh, you are eligible to apply but uh, you need ielts overall six you can apply uh, with uh, this condition and we'll issue the conditional offer and you can try for the what is the upcoming the university is taking the uh, alternative of the English test. You can try this, possibly, you'll be yeah. able to uh, go through this. <coughs> Just wondering, does the university is considering to take a 
uh, I mean the pre-session English course before going for the main course through online or something? Uh, it's not sure though yet uh, regarding the pre-sessional course matter, but hopefully uh, beginning of May, I, I said before, beginning of May, university will take the final decision. What will be the uh, situation in next or when they will run their intake and what sort of what sort of uh, alternative options will take uh, except IELTS and uh, we'll go for one line uh, how long and for pre-sessional what will be the class policy so uh, coming next week uh, we'll get all the answers from university hopefully and, uh, thank you uh, i had a i got a couple of questions as well i have done mba from cardiff Polytechnic university after I came back home now i'm interested to got admission for the post gate it's like dba um do you have a, a dba right uh, yes, so we have DBA courses as well, the PhD courses. Yeah. Okay, and uh, so they can uh, have it three years or? Uh, it's three years. It's three years. Uh, Mr. Sajad Hussain, uh, yes, the university can accept you for the DBA. So you can contact to our team and the team will help you out as well, DBA. Uh, DBA need a quite long uh, matter about the counseling. Uh, in terms of the, your personal statement as well, what you planning to do, and you need to have a quite uh, uh, big details. As well. As well. Yes, you need also a proposal. What you want to, to conduct a research in three years on, in DBA program. So do join mm -hmm. uh, to our team, and the you will be guided accordingly. Our team experts, the those are even at the UK uh, office. We have uh, around thirteen branches and uh, fourteen colleagues in the UK office. And they will be able to help you out for your DBA program. And uh, because the, most of the DBA program, we actually process from the UK office with the expert counselors. And uh, that could really give you uh, more opportunities for you uh, to get the comprehensive guidance as well. And you can join also our local office. That's not a problem because many of our colleagues studied at the UK university. They completed their master degrees, so it should not be any problem. And thank you. And I'm going to go to the last question uh, because uh, uh, our session was uh, around one hour. So yeah. supposed to be one hour. The last question is uh, it's from Shahabuddin. I have completed my graduation from National University. My result was second division. Now I'm starting master's with National University. I have no IELTS. So can I go to UK? for study without IELTS, please. So at the moment, uh, you're not allowed to go uh, for uh, second master's without IELTS. Obviously, you need IELTS over 6, not below 5.5. Okay. So you are allowed to apply for master's, but obviously you need IELTS. Yes. If you uh, if you do not have sufficient influence, it is the one of the thing. Also, it is uh, for you, your uh, importance, it is Currently, you need IELTS equivalency, basically, I would say. Yep. Because the university will uh, make a plan or a plan for the student who cannot sit for the IELTS due to the COVID-19 issues. So you can make the application and you can get the upper letter and we can go ahead accordingly. We have a select grants and the contact details in uh, also there to the, on top of the our Facebook session. You can take the number and contact to the select team as well. Thank you. And uh, the one of the question from Mr. Abhishek. I have I have a question as well. A student completing BSc in microbiology with distinction. So, what are the options for masters? Can a student apply for MBA? A student is from India. Uh, yes, a student can apply for MBA. Uh, mainly, MBA is open for all all departments you know anyone can uh, apply for mba courses from uh, it doesn't matter he's a doctor or he's a, like a, like a, like engineering uh, engineer okay it doesn't matter so anyone can apply for our mba courses yes mba is a management course and as long as student can justify why he needs to have an mba why he needs to have a management skills in biomedical sector Maybe uh, opening the biomedical lab or maybe doing the research, maybe 
as biomedic biomedical some business oriented planning so if as long as there is a justification in place it should not be an issue i would recommend to make the application for you and i would like to complete uh, we want to end up the session here and mr azad rahman it was very fantastic to welcome you to hz associates live session i believe there are lots of students uh, came and uh, got a details about the university and the requirements fees scholarships and alternative of the ielts as well and i hope this will be benefited from there and to the viewers you can join you can take the our contact details and make an application and we hope that uh, we hope to see you in uh, september intake to the uh, university of cardiff med and thank you very much all of you thank you thank you mr azad rahman for joining uh, with us thank you glom mortoja uh, for inviting me here and uh, for viewers uh, please stay home and be safe with your family members thank you